Hey, this is MIB1 high unit from Skoda. So I will quickly show you what can we see over here and then I will show you what you will see inside. So in the front we have two SD ports. Uh, we have a DVD port over here with eject button. We don't have the SIM card port because this is optional and this unit is not equipped with it. Uh, here are the um, holes for the locks to remove it from the uh, from the vehicle, from the uh, glove box. At the side we have the cooling fan exhaust over here and on the other side we have, I believe, the air intakes. At the back we have a couple connectors and this is quad lock connector, the most important one. We have power, we have uh, an, um, audio output if you are using the internal amplifier over here and we have all those connectors for um, CAN bus communication with the vehicle and with the display, um, uh, auxiliary audio input, um, reverse camera input and so on. Over here, this blanked out by the yellow tab is the fiber optic connector, most connector for external amplifier. And if you have a little bit uh, more recent vehicle with MIP2. This is also used for communication with the virtual virtual cluster. Um, over here we have the LVDS. This is for um, display. This sends signal, video signal to the display. And over here we have the USB connector for the uh, USB port or USB ports if you have two or uh, two of them. Here's the um, radio antenna, the analog radio antenna. I believe this is for the digital radio and over here we have the GPS antenna connector. Okay, so let's go and open it up. First of all, you will have to remove those two screws for this small cover and you can see that there's a warranty, warranty void sticker over here as well, which you need to damage in order to, in order to open this unit and once those two are removed you can pop this up there's an empty place over here i believe uh, this is for the optional um, uh, telephone modem over here as i said there's no sim card so there's no um, telephone module over here and after this is removed, you need to remove four additional screws. Two over here and two over here. Then you can pop this up, which can be tricky. Okay, let's remove this. And you will see that you cannot see much actually. And this is because the DPD drive is in your way. So, I'm going to uh, pop it upward. There are no additional screws uh, to remove this. Once the cover is removed, this is free to be removed as well because those two screws were holding um, the top cover as well as the DVD drive. So we can try to try to remove it. Okay. And now you need to be careful because this is still connected to the unit with this flex ribbon over here. So I'm going to try to place it on the side. There's a lot of... Uh, uh, the length of this is really a lot. Yeah, it's enough to place the DVD drive on the side without disconnected, disconnecting it actually. So we have a better look on the insides. We don't see the mine board, the electronic, because it's underneath the uh, this, I believe, huge heat sink, but we can see the cable that goes to the GPS connector. So this is GPS antenna cable, and this makes this uh, shiny thing a GPS module. Over here, we can see SD1 and SD2 ports, which make this board an external storage board with some microcontroller. Here's the cooling fan that uh, I sh showed you um, before. And that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Maybe let's zoom in on it. This is how it looks. 
I'm not going to disassemble it because I'm not I'm not um, uh, fairly sure about what uh, needs to be removed next and this is not a scrap unit it's still working and I'm not uh, going to risk damaging it right now or assembling assembling it um, incorrectly and um, my uh, top concern is about the heat sink over here I don't have the paste to um, to put it uh, back with uh, proper cooling and proper um, heat distribution okay so this is how it looks assembling is pretty simple start with this one at angle like so it need to it needs to find the proper spot like so next we can take this start at the front front is where the front panel is okay it needs to it needs to snap in place okay and now this this slides from top this needs to go inside the unit like so and now all i need to do is insert those six six screws and that's it